Hey guys, what we got here, um, I've noticed a lot of people making mistakes planting coconuts. Coconuts are opposite than normal fruit trees. Normal fruit trees, you plant them a little high, you got the water shed away. Coconuts actually like being planted like a little deep like a banana. Remember, these things are washing up on beaches, getting covered in sand. You can bury a coconut trunk from what I've been heard, several feet, and, the, and they'll, they'll actually live. Not that I would do it. This right here, is a 45 gallon Fiji dwarf we're putting in this morning. This one's really, really nice. This has the beautiful bronze characteristics. Um, now this thing's gonna grow in the ground. It's gonna really show, it's, show what it is. This is when they just kind of start expressing really how they're gonna look, but you can see the, the real close leaves. And uh, like I said, now it's gonna be getting full sun in the ground. Everything's gonna get real tight on it. One of the things I noticed about Fiji's, if you're shopping by yourself, someone says they have Fiji's, See if you can stick your finger in between the leaves. See, this won't go. It's real tight. That's a good sign to what you got. If your finger goes in between the leaves and the head's not real tight with lots of branching up close, if everything's kind of spread out, it might be Fiji, but it's not expressing the genomes and phenomes that it should be expressing. So basically you're getting a hybrid. So be careful out there what you're buying. But anyways, here's the hole. Um, it's a little bit deeper then the pot and a little bit wider you see we filled up a 45 gallon full of dirt that's the same size as this and then you got another 45 gallons of dirt out here so i excavated probably 90 gallons of dirt so what i do is i take a measurement a hard measurement here's our ground level about right here about right here and look i'm literally just above right here this is going to be perfect this is where i want this tree so my next step that i do and this really this really helps you shine on the competition i don't think i'm gonna tell you the exact formula of this but i'm going to recommend you get something similar and i do two big tree like this it'll handle three this is a real high-end fertilizer and, and this is this is almost cheating i mean really should almost be outlawed it's too, it just works that good and now you know if i had my machine with me i'll drop it in here i didn't have time to get locates it's december it probably wouldn't show up so i dug this thing by hand real carefully um one of the things i want to recommend to you if you look at my tools there there everything's a wood handle or a fiberglass handle you don't want to be digging with anything that's metal handed you never know it could be something in the ground you go in with a metal hand, you're gonna end up being a real nice ground for that earth. So here we go. Basically what I do, coconut, there's no rhyme or reason of what angle we're putting it on in. But we're, I'm just gonna roll this thing on its axis right into the hole. It's nice to have the machine to dump it in, but I don't have it today. So there she goes, right there. Perfect. And that is a Fiji, a Fiji who's pretty. And that's it, I'll start, I'll throw some of this dirt in there. And, uh, We'll put some water, get all the air out, and this is this is gonna be a nice tree. And I recommended them they should add remove this cassia, put this Keysar dwarf in the center back, put one more Fiji dwarf there, kind of balance out the yard, and it'd be a nicer look. Um, we'll see what they decide later. If they do, we'll let you know. We'll show you the end result. Have a good one, guys. Up next, guys, we just finished the Fiji dwarf coconut. We showed you how to plant that one, the coconuts, similar to a banana tree. And by the way, I don't know if I mentioned it, with the Fiji, a lot of mulch and uh, some a good quality fertilizer and regular irrigation, you'll improve your nut production tenfold on a tree like that. So keep that in mind. And also the quality and the flavor of the, of the juice. So here we got an excellent mango. From what I've been told, this is the number one commercially produced mango in Dominican Republic right now. This is the Kizar or the Kesar mango. It's a dwarf tree, makes an awesome mango. I think they call it the Oro over there. Anyways, my client is originally from Dominican Republic. We went through the pictures and they showed me the mango they like and we figured it was the Kizar by those facts, the picture, and the fact that there is some huge mango production in Dominican Republic with this particular tree. Now this isn't like a commercial variety here that tastes terrible and has fiber. This is a quality mango. This thing is awesome. This tree fruits 
fruit soon, stays dwarf, quality is awesome, West Indian flavor class, disease free, no anthrax, no skin stays clean. I mean, it is a good, it's everything commercially good. Um, and it has no fiber, but it holds together well. It doesn't get mushed out. So anyways, um, this is where the customer wanted it set, center of the yard, somewhat set back from the Fiji. I'm gonna try to talk him into a second Fiji there, bringing it in. And uh, opposite of the coconut, the mangoes don't like water. These things are from Pakistan, India, sandy soils. They're very adapted to sandy soils. It's very dry there. Um, Matter of fact, I, from what I've been told, the rainy season makes them flower there and not the cold. I don't even know if it gets cold there. But this tree here, we plant them high. I've measured out this hole. Let me grab my little, my little thingamajig here. And we look like we're about right there. Now if I come over here, I'm just above that. Now, mind you, this here is gonna settle. We done. So account for the tree sinking the next month or two. Could be an inch, could be half an inch, but it's gonna sink. I can tell you that. So I'm accounting for the sinking. So when I measured, I'm about a half inch higher than you would think you'd want. Now I put the secret sauce. This is a timed release. This isn't broken down by water. This is broken down by time. A hole this big, which is 45 gallons, plus I took a bunch more out, probably 90 gallons worth of soil removed. I'll put this time release. This is 270 day release. It won't burn the roots. This tree's well rooted, it's ready for the ground. It hasn't been in here too long you know, to make something bad of a tree. So this tree is, I mean, this is really, honestly one of the perfect trees to me you can plant. You get production right away, usually. And with that secret sauce, they take off nicely. And now what I like to, I just like to figure, when they look out their back door here, what are they gonna see? You know, so this tree has a slight curved trunk. So instead of them seeing the curve, I'll flip this curve about 45 degrees or so. Let's see, what is that? 90 degrees or something like that. Oh no. A little more. There. Now it looks like a straight tree. And we'll knock the dirt in. Yeah, that looks a lot better. I like the look. And like I said, just a little bit higher than surrounding earth. And I'll show you the final product when we're done. All right, guys. So here's the keys are. It's in the ground. It's a little bit higher than the earth. I don't know. It's probably hard to tell because only an inch. It's like a cork in a bottle. And what I did was left a nice little berm. And as it rains, the summer is going to break this down. Eventually, it's going to be leveled out. So... We'll water it in, it's gonna sink a little. We haven't watered any of these in yet. But at least for the first month, you wanna keep your berm, help force the water in the hole. Uh, without that, the water just kinda of doesn't really get into the tree and you can lose a tree like that. Mango, probably pretty hard to lose it that way, but a, or a coconut, you know, it might shock out, but something a little more thirsty, like a guava or a Barbados cherry or a Jabba di Caba, you could probably lose a tree. All right, guys.